Grind that up, girl. Look at her just looking at me like, can you not? <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and to another episode of a Harry Potter Hogwarts mystery. Don't you worry you guys, I'm not gonna stop playing this game. I am having a ton of fun playing this game whenever I leave this game. I'm in like such a happy mood. So there's definitely gonna be some more playing of this game going on. So in our last episode, we literally tried, someone tried to kill us. Like, I feel like we need to talk about this and get out of our system and get some therapy. Like, work through these emotions. Because our arch nemesis and Slytherin bully literally tried to kill us. She tried to strangle us via death by vines. What are those vines called? You know this, Claire. Remember. Why is Whomping Willow in my head? I know it's not the Whomping Willow. The Devil's Snare. I can't believe I had to Google it. I'm so ashamed of myself right now. I need to hang up my boomstick and my, my robes because clearly I don't deserve them. But you guys remember we finished last the last episode in the training grounds where we were learning how to do our broom lessons. We didn't actually get to play on the broom, which was kind of sad. But we did help out our little friendo, is he Ben? Who I do my Swiss scared voice for. I also realized I was doing the Yorkshire voice for Hagrid. And then like laughed about it to Ali and then he's like, yeah, Hagrid's like Cornish, like Devonish kind of thing. He's not Yorkshire at all. However, I can't really do the Cornish accent all that well. As you can tell, everything becomes Irish. No matter what I do, it becomes Irish. So I'm gonna keep her, um, Hagrid as a Yorkshireman. Okay, so we are at the training grounds currently. I'm just kind of obsessed with clicking around to see if there's anything else to do. But I don't think there is. What we need to do instead is we can either meet with Rowan or we can summon our broom. No, I'm kind of tempted to fly, but I believe Rowan was taking some of the bullying a little bit harder than me. And so we want to go make sure she's okay. And I think we're going to go play gobstones with her. So this should be super interesting. So guys, let's get our gobstone on. Oh my gosh. Another ghost! Look at him go! <gasps> you guys also told me other things I could potentially click. A painting. Oh, look at me in my shilly rig out. I love it. A painting or like a stick or something, but I can't see anything clickable, you guys. So instead, I'm gonna go meet with Roro. My little friendo, Roro. <gasps> look, it's the courtyard. Oh, it's awful bright and green out here. <gasps> there is little Rowan. Let's see what else I can see, because you know what I'm like. I have to do my investigating. And my exploring. Okay, there's nothing else. Let's go chat with Rowan. I do posh voice for her, don't I? Just need to remember all my voices. It's been a few days. So this is me. So it's just like, thanks for inviting me, Rowan. After everything Marula and... With everything... <laughs> Good start, Claire. After everything with Marula and Snape, I could use a break. Hogwarts shouldn't be about bullies and barely escaping death. It should be about learning magic and having fun. Yeah. Wait on you till you play gobstones. I play it on the farm all the time. I thought you said you did reading all the time. You're telling me lies, Rowan. You're telling me lies. Mostly because I'm not strong enough to help out with the actual farming. It'll be fun to play with another person for once. I'm slipping into Marula, you guys. I've got to be careful. I've got to differentiate my voices. Thanks for helping me to adjust to things here, by the way. Of course, it's nice to have a friend who understands me and can explain everything about Hogwarts, because apparently I can't be bothered to read. I wish I could explain why Maru Marula is such a bully. I've been researching her family to try and understand why she acts the way she does. Let's just relax and you can tell me about Marula while we play. I'm clearly getting a little bit sick of Rowan at this point, like, just relax, just play the game. Brilliant, Gobstones is the fine, finest skill testing manual dexterity game in the world. Sounds great, Rowan, I can't wait to play. It's a bit like the Muggle game Marbles, okay. Except every time the point is scored, the loser gets sprayed in the face. That's what Marbles needed, you guys. Bodily assault. Sprayed with what? No one knows, but it smells awful. I I'm not sure about this, you guys. So let's go ahead and play this god-awful game. And if we do well in, in this interaction, you'll strengthen your friendship with this person and be able to go on more adventures together. High attribute levels will improve your chance of success. Okay, let's get this show on the road, you guys. Hogwarts is more frightening than I thought it would be. Don't worry, Rowan, everything will be okay. You've got me and I'm pretty badass, let's face it. Have you seen the rig out I've got on? Good luck, Claire. The only time I ever lose gobstones is when I get distracted. Okay, we need to distract her. Each interaction has a different goal and this one tries to impress Rowan by winning at gobstones. Okay, we need to distract her. Do we ask her about her favorite book? Or do we ask, did you hear something? Or do we just empathize with her and concentrate? I think we try and distract her. Yes! Tick plus! That was the right thing to ask. That's because I knew Rowan, you guys. I knew that she'd be interested in books. 
And I got some bonus points for my knowledge about Rowan. Good play, Claire. I could have counted if I wasn't so distracted. Thanks, Rowan. I think I'm starting to understand gobstones. I'm understanding how to troll people and mess with them so they can't win games. It's a good lesson, all in all. The more distracting your choices, the more you'll fill your diamond meter. Okay, let's talk about Wandwood. I think it's distracting. Shush, I'm trying to fo- No, no, let's be distracting. Let's do the distractions again. The others weren't even that distracting, you guys. I am a pure distractioner right now. This is a lot more chill than being eaten by that vine thing. Oh, I forgot what it's called already. I just, I know. Have some coffee and shut up, Claire. You're doing win well, Claire. I'll never win if I keep getting distracted. Looks like my strategy is working, you guys. Four turns left, okay. Let's join the Gobstones Club. Let's discuss study, study habits. Let's bunk off school. Let's get distracted instead. No. Study. Oh! My gosh! Oh! I failed, you guys. I literally got failed. Failed so hard. I believe. I can't believe you might win. Um, Snape is a vampire? The library burned down. Oh, there should be well said about that. Yes! I know she loves books. Oh, by the way, the new A Court of, Sto a Court of Thorns and Roses book arrived in the post. I don't know when this video is going out, but it's Tuesday today. It arrived today. Really excited. However, the book is like this thick, which is really disappointing. I'm about this kind of a book thickness. This is just not, no, no. You beat me, Claire. Pretty impressive for your first time playing Gobstones. Yes, you guys, full success right there. And we've leveled up our friendship to level two with Rowan. And we got some of my beautiful gems. Exciting. So the more you level up people's friendship, the more you can bring them on your adventures. Which is obviously very Harry Potter-esque. Because he already always had his two sidekicks on his adventures. Good game, Claire. Some people think Gobstones isn't cool, but I've always considered it to be the thinking which is Quidditch. Don't, Claire. Just let her be. Just let the poor... Cute little fairy bee, okay? My headphones got so bored of her that they actually just switched off. I have to switch them back on again. Thanks for playing. I've never been especially good at making friends. We became friends pretty quickly. Yeah, but most people think I'm a useless weakling or an awkward nerd. You're weird like me. Really? No offense. No offense taken. I'll take it as a compliment. Sure. <gasps> oh no! It's Marula and her torn tights and her stupid boots. Is it this precious? Hello, Siobhan. You're unfortunately looking well after wrestling with the devil's snare. That's what it's called. Whilst you are playing with plants, I've been doing a little research about your brother. Oh no, not Dane. Why don't you just leave me alone and Dane alone? Because you're in danger to Hogwarts just like him. And none of us will be safe until you're gone. This girl literally has a vendetta against her, you guys. It's it's vicious is what it is. What are you talking about, Marula? Javon's brother didn't just get expelled for endangering the entire school in search of some imaginary vaults. Well, guys, there's more info coming out here. He immediately went missing, and the next time he's seen, he was working for Voldemort. Dane! Dane! What? What? This is literally the worst news we could have gotten. Here was me still defending him the whole time, thinking, no, Dane is a sweet, innocent little starfish. There's no way. No way. Like, it's just misunderstood. But he was working with Voldy Boots the whole time. That is not good, you guys. That is not good. You can't say that. You must call him he who must not be named. I'll say what I want. You're lying about my brother having anything to do with he who must not be named. You can say his name, Claire. I believe in you. No wonder the professors were talking about you before the feast. They're wondering if you work for the Dark Lord too. Ooh. Okay, you guys. What do we do? Expose her secrets. Ignore her or reason with her. I don't know her secrets, but I know Rowan does. However, I don't want the bully to turn me into the bully. Like, that is like the worst possible outcome, I would say. That you then become the bully. You don't want to become the thing that you hate and fear. So I'm going to try and reason with her. Let's see if this worked. What happened to you to make you so mean? Why don't you live your own life and just leave me alone? Why don't you just drop out of, <laughs> of Hogwarts? Save Gryffindor and your little friend here the embarrassment of being associated with you. I love doing Marula, by the way. She is definitely my favorite so far. You're just afraid that I'm going to be better than you. Afraid? I'll drool you right now. I drool. <laughs> this is going to just drool on my head. I'll drool you right now. 
Walk away or cast a spell. Walk away gives us two points, or we required two points for it. I'm gonna try walking away, you guys. You aren't worth my time, Marula. Keep this nonsense to yourself. Don't you walk away from me! What if she hits us with a spell at the back of the head? That's dirty tactics right there. Her voice hurts my throat though, so I'm gonna need some more coffee. But actually like physically like, <sighs> hurts. The vibrations hurt. Oh guys, <gasps> flippendo, oh, wait, flippendo. <laughs> she used a, a, a spell on us, you guys. <gasps> oh, <gasps> she's knocked me to my butt in my fancy new rig out. How dare she? Learn a few spells, Siobhan. Maybe next time you'll put up a fight. <gasps> she totally just kicked our butt. Guys, we just got embarrassed right there in our new gorgeous, gorgeous robes that are probably all t dirty and torn now. The ruler is never going to leave us alone. Not until I learn some more spells and find somebody who can teach me in a duel. <gasps> Guys, this is cool. We need to find a teacher who can teach us in the jewels. <gasps> ooh, ooh. <gasps> you can view your friendships here. So Rowan is level two. Uh, ben is, no, we need to keep playing to unlock a little bit more about him. <gasps> Penny Haywood, who is absolutely beautiful. I kind of have a crush on her, not gonna lie. Bill Weasley, Nymphorada, I never know how to say this girl's name. Nymphor Nymphadora Tonks. She's the one that can change all of her appearance super easily. Tulip Kasaru. Barnaby Lee. Is he meant to be the good looking one? Oh no, he's a Slytherin too. For oh, God's sake. I want to be friends with her because, because I love her. <laughs> She's so beautiful. Okay, let's go back to our little scroll. The last thing we have to do for this chapter, I believe, is try and summon our broom. So we're going to go back to the training grounds and back to our lesson. Let You guys told me to click the stick. Thank you, guys. <gasps> a choco gave us a <gasps> That's Hagrid's hat. It's so cute. Okay, I think that's the only thing, you guys. Oh, did you see that broom just hanging? I was about to say, that broom definitely had someone on it before. Now it has no one on it, which isn't a good sign for that person. Just put it out there. Okay, so we are back, and today we are going to summon our broom. So, broom, care, and maintenance. Welcome back to your flying lesson. After observing your first lesson, I will now teach you how to summon your broom. Before you can summon your broom, however, you need to learn how to maintain your broom. How to maintain it. <laughs> to your broom care stations. I'm just doing fast, aggressive voice for her. I think that's a good one. <gasps> Look at us maintaining our broom. Ooh, trim the ends. There we go. Listen to um Rowan. Look around. There I go. What she said. Listen to her. I don't want to listen to her. It would be a shame if you fell off your broom and landed in the Black Lake. Shut up, Marula. Polish it. Uh, what else can we do? Care for it. Bam. Work real hard. There we go. Trim the ends again. Oh my god. How much care does this broom need? Cheers. Okay. Choose your reward. Ooh. Which one am I lowest in? I actually can't remember. But I think I'm gonna go for bravery. Because, or courage. Because I feel like I'm gonna need it with Marula around. A nice coat of polish will make a big improvement. Let's apply some polish. Fa pow. It's like cat ears. Brilliant. There we go. Look at me. Oh, I'm polishing my little broom. My Nimbus will be like Nimbus 1993. Because Nimbus 2000 was out when Harry was there. Might even be a 92 model, you guys. And we got 10 points to that level. Can I check in on these? No, I can't. No, no. Prepare to summon broom. It's time to practice summoning your broom. Step up, hold out your right hand and say... Oh, I remember this. It's like up, up, up. Say up. Tune out, tune Rowan out. Ignore her. Focus on me. Wonder. Oh, what could it be? Roll eyes. There we go. And now I need to summon. Concentrate. Oh no, I'm going to run out of stamina, you guys. But I've only been playing for like four seconds. Are you joking me? Oh, I exchanged some, some coins for energy, you guys. Exciting, okay. Take notice over there. Ask a question over here. As you can see, I spot money on the game because I don't want you guys not to be able to just like watch me all the way through. It would be pretty sad if I just had to sit here for 20 minutes like. We're getting there guys, we're getting there. Instead, here we go. Let's reflect. I don't really know what that means. Splinters greatly increase the chance of death. 
Thanks for that, Madam Huge. Okay, I feel like we need to level up. We're gonna keep doing a little bit of courage. My empathy is level three, the others are level two. And I wanna be like leveled up well in everything. Now, Mishavon, let's see you summon your broom. Okay, trace the path from the broom to your hand. Up. Oh, she nearly did it. Try again. <gasps> We're the boffins! Yes! Oh, and we got some courage points. Our courage is level three. So I need to focus a little bit on my knowledge going forward. But we did it, guys! We summoned our broom and we increased our energy limit as well. Kapow! Chapter three complete. Someone murmurs something there and I never hear what it is. Dealing with trouble is now complete, you guys. <gasps> and we got a reward that we can now start to chat a little bit more with Ben. So, revenge is best served magical. Marula will continue to be a thorn in your side unless you can improve your dueling school skills. Perhaps you can find a tutor, you guys. Okay, we've also unlocked some new clothing, apparently. <gasps> oh no, the prefect wants to hear for us. Is it true you had another confrontation with... I can't remember her voice. I think she was just confident. Is it true you had another confrontation with Marula Snide? We need to talk about this. Okay, Angelica. Do you want to start this now? I do. Wow, I'm spending some gemage today, you guys. Okay, so she's on the training ground. So let's go in and report to her. Let's see what she... She's probably not going to be very happy, you guys. Why do you think our prefect wants to meet us in the training grounds? I wouldn't be surprised if Marula somehow got us kicked out of Gryffindor. What if she wants to train us, you guys? Training grounds? Need to be trained. The two kind of- Look at me with the fun. The two kind of go hand in hand. Do you want to talk about what she said about your brother? Empathy. Yes, we do. You already know most of the story from the Daily Prophet. My brother was obsessed with the idea that there were cursed vaults containing mysterious treasures hidden at Hogwarts. But no one believed him. Not even our mum. He broke all kinds of rules and put people in danger whilst trying to prove that he was right. Dane! What do you like, our kid? Some people say he unleashed, unleashed a curses on Hogwarts. Some people say he was cursed himself. Everybody thought that he was mad. Marula was lying about him being involved with Voldemort, but she was right about him being missing. After he got expelled, he ran away from home and he hasn't been seen since. There were rumors he came back here searching for the vaults. <gasps> this plot keeps thickening, you guys. Sometimes I worry he really was mad. Sometimes I worry I am too. Oh, you poor baby. Me, I'm a poor baby. I don't think you're mad, Claire. I think you're brilliant and I'm glad you're my friend. Thanks, Rowan. Marula will keep attacking us unless we do something to stop her. How can we defend ourselves? <gasps> I think Angelica's gonna help us with that. That's exactly why I invited you here, Claire. You know what happened with Marula? Word travels fast at Hogwarts with owls. I wouldn't be doing my job as prefect if I didn't teach you how to defend yourself. I'm gonna teach you two how to duel. <clears throat> coffee burp. Uh, but we don't know any dueling spells. Gryffindor keeps a secret dueling book hidden in the artifact room. It will give you various spells, potions, and techniques. Meet me again after you've learned a dueling spell, and I'll teach you everything else you need to know. Why can't you teach us the first thing? What's the deal with that? Okay, so we need to find the dueling book, you guys. Ooh. We just have to go dig out this little book of Rooney. There's that same ghost again. There's no paintings or anything for me to click, so I guess I just need to go all the way to this corridor here and find my dueling book. <gasps> so we're in this little secret corridor room. I thought maybe clicking on the skull would do something, but it does not seem to have done anything. Oh. This is kind of creepy in here. They say untold treasure lies within the artifact room, along with untold odors. Oh, it was smelling there, you guys. Let's hurry up and find that dueling book. I'll fight the urge to catalogue every single amazing thing I find in this room. I probably fail, but at least I'm good at multitasking. Oh my god, you are so Hermione! You're worse! You are level two, Hermione. She is clearly just level one, you know? Claire. <gasps> what? Did you hear that voice? What? What? You said my name. No, I didn't. I heard a voice. It wasn't me. It must have been my imagination. Let's just find that book. Yeah. What? This is lost. I'm already in the dueling room, friendo. Okay, let's search for the book. There's a mysterious voice, you guys. Super creepy. It's not in here. It's not on these shelves. It's not on this sign. The thing. It's not in these scrolls on the floor. I mean, you already tried that one. What about in this barrel of alcohol? It's nowhere to be found. <gasps> bam, 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 bam. Success is mine. I found the book. Brilliant! Now we can learn a dueling spell so our prefect can train us to stand up to Marula. 
<gasps> ah! <laughs> What's happened? <gasps> what just happened? What just happened? Claire, are you all right? I saw something in my mind. A walking suit of armor. A I didn't see that. A staircase shrouded in mist. Ice encasing Hogwarts spreading faster and faster. Uh, did she see something different to me? I just saw a puff of cloud. A smoke, maybe. Ice? Yes, and I heard the voice again. It said, the ice is here. The vault will open. I, I, I heard none of these things. I'm lying right now. I am lying. I still don't think you're mad, but I wonder if your brother saw these same visions. <gasps> maybe we're cursed as well. Let's just get back to the Gryffindor common room and get some sleep. Guys, maybe this is what Dane had heard all along. This is what Dane had heard all along. Okay, we have one final thing to do though. I don't want to head back to the common room yet because we haven't done a lesson for today. To be fair, we did do the whole, you know, the broom one. But I think we should do the potions class wish, uh, potions class lesson while we're here. I don't know why we want to get so desperately back to Snape when he clearly hates us, but we'll give it a go. Ooh. If I do an eight hour class, I get a longer reward. Eight hours is a long time to spend with Snape, but <laughs> I'm up for it if he is. Search for the ingredients first, you guys. Here are the ingredients for today's lesson on the shelf over there. Let's go and have a look. Do you like my voice for her? I'm very fond of it. Check these, check these. Oh, it's a good job I've got all these gems. <laughs> it's good in a way, I guess, because if you guys are only doing the one or, or three hour lesson, at least you get to see a little bit about what the eight hour lesson is. I mean, it's an awful lot of tapping. I like the story in between the tapping though, so I don't mind too much. Oh my God, look at this. I'm searching everywhere for this, you guys. <gasps> Ooh, and this is good because, oh, I can't. I thought I'd be able to give myself some more knowledge, but unfortunately I'm gonna have to settle for a little bit more empathy. But empathy is raging on ahead of everything else. So some jars are labelled back here, but it's too dark to read the labels. Cast Lumos to shine a light. Lumos is this, so... The POW! I'm pretty sure I cut that off short. But it's given me it, so that's good. Have you managed to find them? <gasps> Guys, we got our knowledge points after all! Okay, that worked out pretty good. Prepare to crush ingredients. Oh, hey, Steve. For today's lesson, you will need to crush ingredients with a mortar and pestle. Get to work. That's my snappy voice. Sneepy voice. Okay, guys, let's get a crushing. Let's do a snooping. Let's do some reviewing. Let's do some turning of the bottles. Let's do some grabbing of the bottles. Let's do. Oh, that's everything. Check me out. Oh, wait, no. I'm not done. Pick up those quick. Man, this is using up a lot of energy, you guys. A lot of energy. But it's fine because I can keep leveling stuff up. I'm going to do a little bit more courage. I feel like I'm going to need it for my duel. Probably in the next episode, but I'm going to need it all the same. Okay, now we're going to do some. Co Crushing. Crushing. Grind that up, girl. Look at her just looking at me like, can you not? <laughs> you never do that again, please, Claire. That would be great. Great, guys. We've got some more knowledge. We're still only level two on the old knowledge of Rooney, though. And now we need to add the ingredients. Place your ingredients in your cauldron. No splashing. Still quite got his sneer right yet, but... Oh, well. Oh, no. It's Marula. You better not mess with us this time. You've done it before. I'm going to glare at her. That should stop her, you guys. Do some listening of her. Why am I listening to her? Snape told me in private that this is the proper way to, to add the ingredients. Well, Snape's cheating and so are you, so hope you're proud of yourself. Man, this is a lot of stars. I'm going to boss some heavy additions to my knowledge skill there, you guys. And now we just need to add everything in there. Trace a line to add the ingredients to your cauldron. Pretty basic. Okay, there she goes. She's adding her ingredients. She doesn't look very impressed by her ingredients, I must say. She looks rather nervous about the whole thing. <gasps> okay. It seems to be going quite well. We look pretty impressed with ourselves right now. <gasps> and we got 10 more knowledge points. We're still only level two on our knowledge though. What is going on with that? Even a task so simple as stirring a cauldron requires perfect technique. I will observe your attempt. I'm making him sound very bored. Oh, our knowledge is nearly leveled up, you guys. But it is a long way behind everything else. We're a bit of a tickle, but we'll try and improve it. Review the textbook. Tighten a grip. Pick up these little bottlings. Oh my gosh, so much energy. Contemplate. And adjust our cauldron. Another star added to our star collection. Ugh! This is so hard because I clearly need to get my reward for five knowledge. However, I'm not going to turn down 40, 40 courage points, you guys. Okay, now we just need to give our cauldron a little bit of a stir. Oh, wow. Oh, this is tough. 
did get it to the end again. Look at my little timepiece showing there. She like pulls her sleeves down so she can stir and show off her timepiece to everyone. Like, like this, like this. 50 gold, 50 gold right here. <gasps> We've leveled up our knowledge, you guys, finally. Finally, it's catching up with everything else. And now we need to finish off our potion. Finish your potions quickly. I will not tolerate laziness. Okay, Spain. Oh man, it's a lot more of this clicking business. An awful lot of clicking. This is the one part that I would say is not very fun, if I'm being very honest. Not enjoying the clicker in. So, oh, it's a seal crack. I thought it said seal crack. Okay, guys, we, oh, a thousand coins. I do believe I'll click that. A thousand coins. Wow, I could buy timepieces for days with that. How many timepieces is that? Like 20? I could have them all the way up my arms, down my legs, the whole thing. Now let's finish off our potion. Never lets me get all the way to the end. Look at her. Like, does she not work? She just sits there watching me all the time. I think she's in love with me. <gasps> Success! We've done the wing and weld, wing and weld potion. Complete. How's the house cup looking, by the way? <gasps> okay, we are still dead last. Literally, Ravenclaw is killing it right now. And Slytherin ain't doing too great either. But compared to us, they're doing pretty good. So, we got our stars. Done. And now, oh, we can use that in dueling, you guys. <gasps> okay, guys. So, we've got all of our skills up to level 3 now. Our Actually, our empathy is the one that's lagging behind right now. Gryffindor are still very sad. Oh, it says third now. <gasps> Do we just... <gasps> We got 10 points for completing that class, you guys. So we're actually in third position. We've overtaken Slytherin. We've learned how to get our broom to come into our hand. And in the next episode, we are going to have to learn a few dueling spells to take on school bully Marula. Also, I don't think Dane went mad. I think he was seeing the vision that we saw, but it got him expelled. Hopefully, we can investigate it without getting expelled ourselves, getting our one snapped, and getting outcast and running away. Fingers crossed, because that would be a pretty sad end to the series, I'm thinking. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this episode of Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. If you did, please let me know in the comments below if you want to see more. I want to play more. So hopefully you guys want to see more. Let me know that in the comments below as well. And I'll see you guys in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.